Good morning guys. Welcome back. Today we're going to can up some chicken. I'm going to do it the way I do it. Um, I don't like a raw pack chicken. Um, so I went to a local store here in St. Mary's. And I'm just going to move this down so I can show you. Oh. And I got all these chicken breasts here. Now I did take all the skin off. Um, it was $20 for a 10 pound bag. Yeah. It was pretty expensive. <laughs> but um, I want some of this on my shelf just in case anything happens. So um, the local store's name is Del Mar. It is fantastic. The employees are amazing. Um, they're, it's just a great bunch of people that work there. Um, you can buy frozen fruit there. You can buy frozen vegetables there. Everything is farm picked, which is fantastic. This is farm raised uh, chicken from the area. So I like to support those kind of people. So anyways, so we're going to get this done today because the sun is calling my name. I want to get outside today. Rained here all day yesterday on and off. It was a horrible, horrible day. Storm in and out all day. So I want to get outside and get some cleanup done because our leaves are changing and it's it's fall. It's crazy. I am so far behind this year. But it is what it is. I will eventually get it all done. So in this pot, I have water right now. I'm going to add um, some better than bouillon um, organic uh, chicken stock to it or broth or whatever it's called. Um, I get that at Costco. Here this is like, I think it's $21 or something. So I use it pretty sparingly. Um, and this is my last jar. And I'm not renewing my Costco membership until we move. So I just don't see the point. And then I have my All-American set up. I have my jars actually in my All-American just sitting there kind of keeping warm for me. Because we're going to pre-cook this. Use the stock. And then, um, yeah, I think it'll be really good. This is the way I've always done it. I did try raw, raw pack once, and I just, I didn't like the texture of it. That's just me. You do what you want to do. I have my bleach cleaner, just in case I drop any chicken. Um, yeah, I got my canning book out. We're ready to rock and roll. We're ready to go. So, um, this is almost up to boil. It'll only take another minute. And then we're going to start cooking the chicken and just chit chat a little bit. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. So I got my cast iron on here. And yep, my induction burner is going to start talking to me here. So now, if raw chicken freak, freaks you out, that's okay. Um, when I was pregnant with my son, I couldn't even touch raw chicken. But, uh, spare gloves or use tongs or whatever. But when you do what I do every day, it's, uh, it's really no big deal. So, this is now hot. So I'm just going to start cooking this. And then if I have room in my canner, oh, it's a little bit of lard in the bottom. I found, uh small jar of uh, homemade lard. I'm going to turn this down one. And then whatever is left, like juices from the chicken, I'm going to put into my pot with the stock. Because that's great flavor. And I don't want to lose that. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we need to turn it up. I'm gonna get some tongs here. I need another bowl, guys. So 
because I'm not going to overcook this because, like, it's going to cook in the canner. I just want that initial um, you know, just a good sear on it. And then we'll jar it up together. And like I said, if I have room in my canner, um, I'll just pop some uh, beans in the canner. Hmm. These are supposed to be chicken breasts, not chicken thighs. Excuse me. Oh well. Doesn't matter. Chicken's chicken in my world. Now I'm not going to salt this. I'm not going to pepper it. Um, I'm just going to leave it as is. I was going to do urban chicken, herb chicken, but um, I think I'm going to hold off on that. Because I just want some batches of plain chicken to uh, use in casseroles or whatever. You know, a quick, quick soup or casserole or whatever I plan on using this for. And if your chicken ever sticks to your cast iron, just stop. It's telling you it's not ready to be flipped yet. So I'm going to continue cooking the chicken. I'm going to get it all cooked and set up for canning, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I thought I'd bring you back for this. I thought, why not? Um, I dry can. This is not a preferred method or anything like that, but this is how I do it. And I'm just doing some simple black beans. Doing half up here. Oops. That one's a little. I'm just gonna separate these out. All right. And then I'm just gonna use this chicken stock. I'm not gonna make it a vegetarian thing, but I'm gonna use the rest of this stock this week. I'm gonna make. Um, I'm going to make chickpea soup. It is so good. It is an Italian soup. But I've been craving it so bad that um, I'm going to make it. Oops. Oops. Gosh, guys, I am so messy. <laughs> All right. So... looks kind of funky, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, well. That's okay. It'll taste delicious. All right. Very, very, very important to debubble your beans. I do it like I'm uh, whipping something. what I spilled out. I'm going to wipe. Man, guys, I'm having a rough day today. There we go. Nice and clean. Let's get out my lids. Lid. I have a basket with all my canning stuff. I don't even put canning stuff away in this time here. All right, so there's the beans. Pop them in there. My chicken's all happy in my canner. Deep bubble. Wait. 
that rim really good. Oh, guys, holy. It's going to be one of those days. You guys have those days when you're candy and you're thinking, hmm, should I have started this today? <laughs> there we go. Let's debubble this one up. I was going to pull out the double stack one canner, but I didn't think I would have enough. And I'm glad I didn't because... Well, I guess I could have canned all this if I really wanted to, but I'm going to use it, so I'm not worried about it. Okay, guys, I'm going to pick you up. Oop, drop the tripod. All right, so there's the chicken in the large mouth, and the beans are here. I'm going to oop, pressure can this. Uh, it says 500 milliliter jars. Bone in is 65 minutes and boneless poultry is 75 minutes. That makes a ton of sense, doesn't it? I've never understood that. But anyway, so we're going to do it for 75 minutes. Okay. I'm going to let it vent for 10 minutes once it gets up. And then I will go to, I rough, as you know, uh, 10, 11. But, uh, so I'll pressure can this, let everything come down, and then I'll bring you guys back as I'm pulling them out. Welcome back, guys. All right, we're pulling them. Everything is good to go. Our beans are good. And then we'll pull out that chicken. And the chicken. Look at that, still bubbling. Wow, there you go. I'm going to pick you guys up. Still bubbling in the jar. Isn't that beautiful? I think that's gorgeous. And then, sorry guys, I'm going to show you the beans over here. Oops. Look at that. Aren't those lovely? All right, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the address and information for Del Mar if you're ever in the area of St. Mary's. And you guys want to check them out. I'm going to leave their address and everything in the description box. I truly hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys super soon.